Okay, good. Stop sign. That's a good place to start. Hi guys. Okay, so today I'm gonna try a whole vlogging thing because today is the day of my period kit making stuffing creation party and I'm really excited about it. I have to run some errands right now to get some things to prepare. I forgot sunglasses. This is gonna be my little release now that we're in the light. But yeah, so I thought I would try and take you on a little adventure with me of getting today ready and I'm gonna try to film some tonight and we'll see what we create can create okay for some reason I have quite a few pads for tonight like a lot of pads <laughs> like boxes and boxes of pads but come back oh my gosh I'm gonna get a wreck but I don't have that many tampons um, and so I want to make it equal, so I'm going to go pick up some tampons today with money donated to me. And so that should be fun. Tampons, just big box of tampons. Mm. Just came from World Market. Got the taper candles. They're called tapers, apparently. Oh, wait, there's a high view right here. I can do it. Oh, my gosh. I'm such a numpkin skull when it comes to this thing. Oh, well. Excuse me, Mr. Pepsi truck. Okay. Great successes. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. As I was saying, great successes. Um, I just got back from hy V. I I got things, and I'll show you them when I make them. I'm making my very delicious chip dip. It's got, it has a lot of good things in it. Another great success, I got um, two boxes of tampons. 108 tampons in each. The price had gone up a little bit. I did get them for 10.88 at one point. Um, I think they're on sale. But I ended up getting them for around 13.88. Oops, which is more than I had spent before, three dollars. But that's okay because it's still a really, really good deal. It's getting bright out. Um, but that's all I bought were these two. Are driving past giant boxes of tampons. <laughs> and I just like walked out with them under my hand arm. But I have a really, really funny story I want to share with you guys about the first time I went to Sam's Club with the intention of buying a bunch of period stuff for this project. So the first time I went out to Sam's Club, I rode my bike. It's really not that bad of a bike ride, maybe like half an hour. And I like riding my bike anyways, it's how I get around. So I biked out there, I had my backpack. I was like, right, I'll just buy what I can fit in my backpack. Um, and I get there and I have a giant shopping cart because they have giant shopping carts there. And, and so I was like, right, I went over to the period products and I was like looking at all the different things. I ended up getting two giant boxes of these 108 box tampons and two even more giant boxes of like 96 pads, but the, the box is a lot bigger. I think I also got, so I had four bat, four boxes, giant boxes of period products, and I had a giant bag of candy. It was like a 325 piece candy. It was only like 14 bucks, so I was like, right, because I knew I wanted to put candy in. I was like, this will last me forever. So I had those, and I like went and checked out, and I was like walking out, and the guy, it was a guy that was like checking the receipt, and he was like, whoa, looks like you're gonna have a good time. And I was like, oh, these are for me. Like, it's a project I'm working on. It's going to a good cause, yada, yada, yada. And he just laughed at me. And I was like, okay, thanks, bye. And so I go out into the parking lot where my bike is chained up to a tree. Um, no, before that, I take my cart out and I have my backpack. So I start putting, trying to put boxes into my backpack and they would barely fit like the boxes themselves. And I was like, shit, I have to fit four bag boxes and a bag, a giant bag of candy. How am I gonna do this? And I'm, so I'm like trying to shove these boxes in and close them. My bag won't zip up. And so eventually I was like, right, I'm gonna have to go next door to Walmart and steal some plastic bags and like rigor and mole tie these boxes onto my backpack. And I was gonna bike home like that. And then I was like, wait, before I do that, let me just call my mom. <laughs> and see if she's still in town. Because my mom doesn't live in Des Moines. So I call her and she somehow happens to be right across the street at the Hy-Vee. 
doing recycling cans and bottles. I said, Mom, I'm coming over there. I'm putting some stuff in your car. You can bring it up tomorrow, whatever. Like, I can't fit it in my backpack. I thought I could. And I got a little, like, I went a little overboard with the period products. And so I was like, then, so I walk up to my bike. I have, like, somehow shoved three of the four boxes. I have somehow shoved three of the four boxes into my bag, but they won't zip or they like unzip themselves. So here I am trying to ride my bike one-handed with my backpack bursting at the seams with pads and tampons and it won't zip up so everyone can see them. I have a giant box of always pads under my arm and I'm holding with my hand, that hand, the giant bag of candy. And so I can only imagine what people thought when they saw me riding my bike because I was trying not to fall, trying not to crash, trying not to drop things. I just like, they're like, God, she must be having a rough period because I had so many period products and just so much candy and chocolate. <laughs> And so I finally get over to Hy-Vee. Um, it was a struggle, believe me, not to drop things. Not, I was like trying not to move so things didn't fall out of my backpack. And I get over there and I find my mom's car, and but it's locked. And so I'm like trying to get a hold of her to like lean outside and unlock her car. And so finally I like have to like walk up to the recycling thing. And these girls are like, oh, oh honey, your, your bag's unzipped. And they're like trying to zip it up. I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. Like, I I know it's unzipped, it won't zip up. And they're like, oh, and I'm like, God, what do these girls think? I have four giant boxes of pads and tampons and a giant bag of candy. They're like, I just wish I could read people's mind, minds in moments like that, so. That was my original trip, and it ended up my mom gave me a ride back downtown. I threw my bike in the back, and it worked out great. <laughs> but I was just cackling to myself almost the entire time, going, oh my goodness. I was like, this is my life. This is what I've become, but I love it. I want to make a sign for my door and be like, welcome, period partiers. Um, I made a Spotify playlist. <laughs> With the ever so popular chip dip. You'll need one bowl. This one's almost kind of clean. Bowl! Let's see. Tomatoes. I'm gonna put in two of these little Roma tomatoes. I don't think these are Roma. <gasps> Roma tomatoes, so we're gonna dice those up. Dice up maybe like half this onion, because I really like onion, I have a problem. We're gonna put in two avocados. You can put as many as you want, but avocados are getting expensive and they're not really in season, so I probably shouldn't be eating that many. But I love avocados, so they're gonna go in there. Um, banana peppers and jalapenos. These are mild banana peppers, boring, but these are hot jalapenos, so that'll be good. Um, a can of black beans, a can of whole golden corn kernels. I don't like, like mushy corn and stuff, that's gross. Um, what else? Um, salt and pepper, very important. I like to throw in curry and chili powder and any other spices. And how could I ever forget? Sriracha! Sriracha, sriracha. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this goes in anything. I literally, I'm the only one that ever uses sriracha. And look how much of that is gone. And I didn't get it that long ago. So here we go. Look at that! It's gonna be so delicious. Sometimes you need to like spin them to get them in. And then, this is where you can apply pressure, but just be careful you don't break anything. Um, still kind of not. Looks like I've broken the candle. Perfect. So he's not gonna come back out. So they just need to be pretty sturdy so they won't fall over. Because you don't want to burn the place down. That'd be dangerous. So there's one. I'm gonna put on some YouTube and finish the rest of these. No. Look at all these candles of mine. You can even see them all. Okay, it's a little bit later today and I just pulled everything out of this room. This is where I do a lot of my sewing and all that stuff. This is my mom's sewing machine that she's been so kind to lend to me to sew bags for this. And this, it looks very empty right now, but you can see some of the boxes down there. That's where I keep everything. I have some extra Ziploc baggies and wipes and 
box is just where I store stuff while I'm waiting, and that's my printer. <laughs> Very excited about it. I got it for free. Ouch. Um, so I grabbed everything from down there because I wanted to put it out in the living room to prepare for the party, and I'm like, holy cow, there's so much stuff. So get ready, wait for this. I've kind of laid everything out. Look at all this stuff, okay? This stuff is I, I've collected and people have donated to me. A lot of it is what people have donated to me. But um, down there we have bags that I've sewn. There are 83 bags there if you're curious. There's 26 bags over there that I've already stuffed. And then there's just more candy um, and pads down there. My fingers have gotten pruny from separating the wipes. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, probably not, but... I've got one more pack of 100 to separate. Um, those down there. These guys are all the ones I've separated. So let's continue. Okay guys, so it's the day after. I didn't have any time last night to make a kind of like little closing, little talk, but last night was amazing, it was so much fun. I know the footage is really, really dark, but it was dark in here and only had candlelight. Um, but I was gonna turn on the lights to film that. Um, uh, maybe we'll put some pictures in, maybe not. But we stuffed 50 kits last night. Um, so I now have a total of 75, I believe are ready to be donated so that's very exciting i want to thank everyone that's helped me out with this project so far it's been so much fun and i've been very overwhelmed and very happy with the amount of support i've received so um until my next video i'll see you guys bye